Okay, in this problem, we're asked to use matrices to verify that C of xy equals 5x minus y comma x plus y is a local change of coordinates at the point P equals 1, 3. And then we're asked to also find the total derivative of phi inverse at phi of P with respect to V. Okay, so first we're going to want to calculate the Jacobian matrix, which is... matrix with the rows as the gradient vector of the components. So the first, the first entry is going to be the partial derivative of, uh, we'll let this be uv, the partial derivative of u with respect to x, which is 5. And the partial derivative with respect to y, negative 1. And the partial derivative of our second component with respect to x and y are both 1. And we're going to evaluate that at p, but since there's no variables, it will just be the matrix 5, negative 1, 1, 1. And we know that if this function is invertible, then the then um, there will be a local change of coordinates. So we'll calculate the inverse of this matrix. And we'll do so by um, augmenting the matrix with the identity matrix and using um, Gauss-Jordan elimination to produce the inverse. So we'll take, we'll multiply this second row by negative 5. Add the 2 as And we get that the matrix is 5, negative 1, 0, negative 6, augmented with 1, 0, 1, negative 5. We'll divide the first row by 5. So we have our first pivot position. Divide the second row by negative 6. And we have our second pivot position. Just need to eliminate this last term. Multiply the second row by 1 fifth. And add it to the first. We get negative 1 30th plus 1 fifth. The 6. would be 5 thirtieths or 1 sixth. 5 thirtieths added to 0 is 1 sixth and negative 1 sixth and 5 sixth. So we see that our uh, on the left side of the augmentation, we have the identity matrix, and that tells us that our inverse matrix, our inverse dp, the total of the total derivative of phi at p is the matrix 1 sixth, negative 1 sixth, 1 sixth, 5 sixth. So we know that the inverse exists, so we know that there's a smooth change of coordinates at P, and we want to find the total derivative of phi inverse at P with respect to V. So we know that
The total derivative of phi inverse at phi of p is the total is equivalent to the total derivative uh, of phi at p inverse, and both of those are with respect to some. Some vector AB is equivalent to the total derivative of phi at P inverse times AB. So we can multiply our total derivative of phi at P inverse by some vector AB. Using matrix mul multiplication, we see that we have a sixth plus b sixth and negative a sixth plus five b sixth. So that tells us that our total derivative of phi inverse at phi of p with respect to a, b, is the vector 1 6 times a plus b times the quantity a plus b. And the second component is 1 6 times uh, the quantity negative a plus 5b. So we found that uh, phi is a local smooth change of coordinates. And we found that the total derivative of phi inverse at phi of p, which we still need to calculate phi of p with respect to v, is equal to this vector. We can fill in phi of p really quickly here. So p is 1, 3. So phi of 1, 3 is 2, 4. So we can fill in there. So we know that the total derivative of phi inverse at the point 2, 4 with respect to AB is the following. So that's our final solution.